And good afternoon. Welcome to the nightcap, the doubleheader here, Trinity Valley and Navarro in for the second game as Trinity Valley won 9-1 to one in the first game. And there is yeah. a pop-up bunt that is caught. The runner at first will have to hustle back as uh, the sacrifice is no good on that. So uh, let's start out, Stephanie, as we get a chance here to talk about that last game. Trinity Valley... Uh, thank you, Benny Rogers, by the way, who sent us this. That was the 15th run ruled win this season. That is incredible. That so th this team is. Uh, says a lot for those bats. Real really deal. Does. Real and deal. Consistency. Again, they yeah. were all scored in one inning. They were just consistent across the board. Exactly. Packing away every time. If you're just joining us, Garza started the inning off with a single out into right center. Fields got it in quickly, held her to a long single. Then the sacrifice there uh, does not advance runner as the catcher for the Cardinals. Which is not Jaden right now. It is actually... Weidenhaupt. Is yes. that right? Weidenhaupt is behind the plate here in game two. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Two balls and two strikes. By the way, um, we were talking about the, the information I got from Benny Roger. Benny's watching it. In Hutchinson, Kansas, getting ready nice. for that men's tournament out there uh, that will begin soon. So It's an exciting time for to be in college. Oh, trying to lay down a bunt again, fouled it off. That is uh, definitely a tough one to handle there as we see Alessandro just bringing the heat and jamming her on the inside part right. of the, the plate there. So she'll be trying to bear down on her here with a two and two count. Caitlin Cooper for a, ooh, yo, beautiful catch. What a Gonna grab. double her off. Get it, get it, get it, girl. There we go. Doubled her back off. That is well done, Crystal Ann. Very, very well done. Castaneda making the dive and grab, the long throw to second all the way across the diamond to retire the side. The side. Caitlin Cooper with a shot to the left center. So Cardinals coming to the plate. When we come back, it's the bottom of the first right here on the Cardinal Sports Network. When joints begin to fail, it's more than an inconvenience. The relentless grinding pain slows you down and can even stop you from doing the things you enjoy in life. At UT Health East Texas, our skilled orthopedic and sports medicine experts are using advanced joint technologies to get you back to being you sooner with a less painful recovery. We're doing more than restoring joints. We're restoring lives. Your favorite thing delivered right to your door means that you never have to stop doing your other favorite thing. Nailed it. Order McDelivery in the app. Trinity Valley with some fireworks early here in the top half of the first inning after a line shot. Looked like trouble out in the power alleys, but uh, great catch. Yeah. Was that, um, help me out, was that I, feel, I think that was uh, Castaneda? Castaneda. Yes, Castaneda. She makes the grab, then guns it in. And uh, so we're, we're working our way across the, the position chart here. And, <laughs> And you, you want to tell that story? Well, I picked up when, we, when there was a power play, the little the catcher, all of a sudden I, I saw her do the little flutter kick. And I'm like, Wait a minute, that's the first baseman. <laughs> yeah, like I switched positions. Kiero, I know, behind the plate here in so game two. So you see, we're coming to know their personalities, which Abs is great. Absolutely. Here's yeah. first pitch in uh, the outside part of the box here. So DeBose, always dangerous, takes a 1-0 count. Mariah. We'll look at strike one on the inside part of the plate. And I can see why she didn't go after that pitch. It's a little, little uh, up on the belly line. Yeah, and so as you're, if you're you're sitting on a pitch, you don't want to go if something's not there, right? Well, and if it's your pitch, oh, my goodness. Now, granted, she would have probably got that if it would have stayed, stayed fair. Yeah, she tried but, to lay down the bunt. Yeah. That was that was uh, gonna easily beat that out. She's in short right field by the time the, <laughs> by the time they <laughs> by get the, the time ball. They get to it. But it is a foul ball. So now looking at one ball, two strikes to the center fielder, 
Mariah she, DeBose. She didn't show much on that one, so that third baseman was not necessarily on top of it. So not to her fault by any means. It's a it's a strange space. When you got an outside when you got somebody throwing an outside pitch to a left hand hitter, you gotta stay back a little bit if you think they're gonna swing. Two balls and two strikes to DeBose. Yeah, good point there. So you're you're trying to watch out for that slap stroke. Yep. Missing there on the inside part of the plate. Full up to the first batter here in game two for TVCC, getting their first look at things offensively. Pops it up out oh, into right field. On. Going over a few steps to her right, makes the catch, and DeBose is down on a fly out to the right fielder. So if it gives you any indication of her reels, she was already four strides off of first base, heading to second base by the time she caught the ball. So. In, indeed, yeah, she can she can scoot. Yes, she can. <laughs> Here's the... Run, Forest, run. Uh-huh. Here's the first pitch to Whitram. Addison will take that in there for strike one. So Trinity Valley trying to double dip here. They get the win in the first offering. That's upstairs. And how about this? Wittram got one in the helmet at third. Hit, had one in the back on her way to third. And then that one almost got her. I'm starting to think there might be a target on her here. Let's see. That's inside. I think she's holding her own pretty well. Oh, man. I mean, Most certainly. She's coming to the plate with a 468 average, and if they flashed it back up there, I, I don't remember what it was, but her on-base average is, like, awesome. Yeah, she is so much fun to her watch. Her on-base percentage is 534, it looks like. So definitely one of the reasons this offense gets generating early right. out of that two spot. Three balls and one strike to Maddie. Or excuse me, Addie, Addie Whitram. Inside for ball four, and she'll Selective, trot Madison. down. Trots down to first base. So with nobody, uh, one out, it will be Kira Weidenhoff coming to the plate. Kira batting from the right side, and I... Uh, shut this down earlier but man I just I I think it deserves another look she will watch that one go by for ball one but coming into today eight home runs 40 RBIs and 457 average that's not even her on base percentage yeah, that's crazy that's good a lot of production out of the three hole here for Trinity Valley 1-0 count here comes the pitch Nice pitch. I feel like this one, uh, this young lady's throwing a little bit more heat. I think Chloe we are. Booth? Yeah, Chloe is definitely trying to attack early in the count, isn't she? I mean, trying to get ahead early and bring in that, definitely bring in a fast ball. One ball, one strength, one down here. Bottom of the first, scoreless here in the second Going of two. Going outside on her. She could not hold up, so tried to, tried to hold up on that, but does not. It's called for the swing, strike two, one ball and two strikes. Lays Again, off there. all those outside pitches, trying to keep the ball out of her wheelhouse. Yeah, she's dangerous. You, you lay it up there for her to uh, have a decent crack at it. We've yeah, seen the damage. Inside a little bit, she'll, she'll take it. Two balls, two strikes. Wittram on at first. Here is the pitch. The junker. The junker. I got the signal on that one. Did you? I did. I saw you studying the monitor, and I'm just up here trying to get out of the way of the sun. I know. And realizing <laughs> I'm not going to get out of this booth. They've got me, got me locked hook, behind these right? bars. <laughs> Three balls, two strikes. Here's the pitch. If you could see us, it does look like we're in jail. <laughs> I think we need to get a selfie of this. I know, right? Three and two, walked her. And so here comes Hollingsworth to the plate with, boy, it's dangerous to have her come up as we saw the solo shot earlier. But What's now not first and second. dangerous in this lineup? Yeah, you don't, you don't uh, get to work around anybody. Uh, they're, they're a team that is definitely 
drawing, raising eyebrows across. Oh, there's the pan the... shot of us. Oh, looky, looky. In jail. <laughs> waving, waving, and asking for someone to send up a cake <laughs> with a, a knife in the cake. That's in there for strike one. Oh, and one the count. Again, you just spoke to the wrong generation, probably. Yeah, again, I dated myself. That was for Mr. Benny Rogers. He's... He's saying, you did it again, Tim. How many times have I talked to you about alienating our audience? <laughs> so with a 1-1 one, one count here, runners at first and second. Hollingsworth, the designated player batting for Boris, the pitcher. Here's the pitch. Oh, oh took, some, took something off of that, didn't she? Yeah. I mean, because Abby was looked like she was locked and loaded. I see, I see discipline in their bats, though. I don't see them going after too many changes and, and off-speed pitches. They, and that takes some practice. It really does. 460 on the year. Here's the pitch. Way outside Way there. Outside. Two and two to Hollingsworth. Yeah, Abby, uh, 11 home runs in this season so far. Wanting to see something here that she can drive. Wittram on at second. Just saw her in the screen. Widen hopped at first. Here's a pitch. Takes that one down the third baseline. I didn't even see that one. That was a uh, blip on the radar. It wasn't it? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> like where did it go? So Hollingsworth staying alive with two balls and two strikes. So two and two, you just got to protect the plate here, right? I mean, you really can't. Lock in on one certain pitch. Just if it's there, you've got to be ready. Ooh. As that was uh, outside part of the plate. Yeah, just trying not to get much, bat on the ball. Not much she could do with that yeah. one. It's funny that that's the pitch that just took her out because on the tip of my tongue was that one of the one of the things after you learn to be a long ball hitter from one side, you've actually got to learn the skill of stepping into the outside pitch with the same kind of power. Going opposite field. Going opposite field. And it, it takes practice. Here is the first pitch coming to Burnham. Jada Elise Burnham at the plate. Mm -hmm. Let's that one go by him for ball one. Jaden's playing first base. Girl's got a gun. Oh, off knuckler. the end of the bat. Tough play. They're going to get her at first. So as the second baseman comes in to make the grab. So lay, looking at the uh, first scoreless inning between two teams. And we will go to the top of the second. Is 0-0 Trinity Valley hosting Navarro here on the Cardinals Sports Network. Welcome to Trinity Valley Community College, home of the mighty Cardinals, offering hands-on education with an average teacher to student ratio of one to 20 at a third of the price of regional institutions. We teach, we strive, we succeed. TVCC, it makes sense. Apply today at tvcc.edu. Your team leaves everything on the field. They play with heart and with their mind. But being smart starts long before the kickoff. With the latest technology, sports medicine advancements, expert physicians, we can keep your team healthy and protect joints and growing bones for this big moment and their future on any field. Physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Hospital. Headed to the top half of the second inning here, due up for the Bulldogs, it'll be Burke, Alexander, and Mills. Riley Mills stepping into the plate, batting on the right side here. A look at that last out of the first inning there on the replay as we come back. It was a bang, bang play. Oh, and it, yeah, it was. It was good. Good execution there from the Bulldogs to retire the Cardinals. First pitch missing. Took a little something off there. So Mills out 2-0. and So that last hit uh, of that last inning came off the very end of the bat. Threw off balance. Mm -hmm. 
and it reminded me of a time we played up in Canada at a national tournament, or international tournament, really. And we were playing a team from Japan. 3-0. and oh. And I am not kidding. I was playing third base, and that hitter turned and put the butt end of her bat and she hit she bunted off the butt of oh the my bat. goodness and so it was a strategy that they were trained at so basically her wrist is right in front oh of my gosh dangerous position walked her on yeah, four, walked pitches. four pitches yeah. did she get it past you though that's the question no she did not no she didn't you can hit off the fat part of the bat the what part you hit. butt of the bat you're not getting past me not that on my watch not on my watch. <laughs> so back to uh the leadoff runner and on base is Mills. They will let her stay in to run, square into bunt. Yeah. And all of a sudden, Alessandro is uh, thrown five straight balls. Let's see if they can uh, talk her, work her back into the rhythm. There's a strike there on the outside part of the plate for strike one. We're also starting to hear some uh, some chants from the dugouts. I was going to say, they they were pretty quiet in the first ball game, and I, yeah, I, I think that's because Trinity Valley just kept oh, them at bay. Off. That'll be fouled off into... Well, that's right field on the park beside us. <laughs> <laughs> one ball and two strikes. Early going here of the doubleheader on a Saturday afternoon in Athens, Texas. Coming to you from Rip Trumgold Field here at Kane Park. Oh, nice little rip short. Machaca! Stop, get it! Over oh, to oh, Wittrum oh, oh, oh. to make the force out. What a play there. That was a great play. From the short stop. My goodness, we've seen Destiny. Destiny. Yeah, Machaca. Make... Machaca grabs the ball uh, going up up uh, the center and a little discombobulated on the on the capture, but she got it out back out of her glove and uh, tossed it to the second baseman or for the force out at second. So a little, a little discussion going on here now. Batter was out of the box and they're calling her out. Looks like we've got two runners out. Wow. What so, do you know? It's well, are they going to? Let's see what ends up happening. I think the runner will go back to first or is it two outs? Yeah, they're going to yep. send, send the runner back. back to first. It's a dead ball after the uh, runner's called out. So Minchaka still gets the highlight reel, you but I don't think does. officially. She gets the highlight reel. If you're, if you're putting together tape, you're, you're definitely keeping that <laughs> in the highlight reel. Uh, she got but, her done. But uh, uh, unofficially does that. <laughs> Might not have been the prettiest play in the world, but doggone it, she got the out, and that's all that matters because that's what the book says. That's right. That's well, right. not now. Well, that I was going to say. So with the 1-0 pitch, here is uh, more of the attack at the plate to Alexander. Excuse me, Burke. Alexander was out. Yes. On the... We got Brinley at the plate. How did we score that officially? Uh, <laughs> Don't ask me. I am going to be leaning on our producer to play it. Oh, a, what a rip into left center. Yeah, that's a, a left fielder's coming up with it, bringing it in tight. Great, yeah, great hustle to get it and keep it from getting to the wall. And we're talking about Crystal Ann Castaneda. Yeah. She uh, got on that at first. I thought that might have a chance to get by. No, no, not even in the slightest. She was on it no. and no. some way, somehow made it look easy. But, uh, you know, that is the fear of the outfielder. Mm -hmm. Infielders got back up all the time, outfielders have nothing. It's I mean, up to yes, you. Yes, you got a center fielder that's coming on your backside, but sometimes just not quick enough. So here so. comes the one out pitch with runners at first and second. Navarro. Leah Prales. Shortstop. Yes, shortstop here for the Bulldogs. And they have been quiet since the top of the first in the first game. Never really made an impact, uh, but trying to do so here in the top of the second in game two. That will make it a one and one count. One out and runners at first and second for Perales. 
There's a nice That's hit. Yeah. Trouble. And middle right side is going to bring the runner in. Here we go with play the, big the play. Throw to the plate. And no go. Not in time. Not in time. Scoring from second is Riley Mills. So Mills will make it one nothing. Yeah. Navarro leading over TVCC here in the second. Leah Perales with a base hit, a That's solid base hit. Clutch hitting. RBI. Yeah, Perales getting the ribby. And now here comes Kerbo to the plate. Kerbo or is it Sadie Flores? Holy cow, look that at that is one. Sadie. Sadie, excuse me, my apologies. It's okay. Flores uh, hit that one a mile, but it was foul. <laughs> and I might be exaggerating. I might not. That was a shot. Was a big shot. But uh, my coach used to say it's just a long foul ball. So right. here's the 0 just 1. Relax. And under his breath, he'd say, boy, they hit that ball a mile. <laughs> 0-1, oh, and, and that one will miss a one ball and one strike. A dear friend in, in the double-A women's majors that we would just laugh at. Oh, off the handle. Got her on. Probably felt the little stinger yeah, there with that. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, she was just a sucker for a, a change-up, but she was just hilarious anyway, and, and she'd hit a shot. She'd come in dragging in the dang out. She'd go, dang! <laughs> Would have been a good hit. She wouldn't have caught it. <laughs> There's the O2. That came off the handle, man. They are just hit. They are bringing it inside on her. Yeah, they are working. The plate. Oh. Definitely working the inside portion. If she wouldn't have caught it, would have been gone a mile. <laughs> oh, and two. So all the one aligners start flooding back to me. Yeah, to take a trip down memory lane here with Horlong. Softball is a sport that can just stay in your blood for you know, it's, it's, oh they're boy. working that inside corner. They got her this time. Got her, got with her just yeah. enough room off yeah. the off the uh, left field shy of the warning track. So great job of pitching there from Excellent Alessandro. Job of pitching. Absolutely. Did they ever got her uh, able to get those hands extended? Because well, that's when the damage the foul happens. Ball. The foul that ball that went a mile. Yeah. And then uh, they never let her get exactly. that again. So two outs here. As Castaneda was able to camp out underneath that one for the yeah, catch. Don't ever diss women's like sports and the thinking that goes on on this ball diamond. Like there's a lot going on. Absolutely. That I one, lost that one in the sun too, little lady. Yeah, that that's not easy. To, easy job back there for Weidenhoff. Does that sun's really yeah. starting to? That one went straight up, and we lost. We all lost it in the sun. No one knew where it was. So 0 and 1, two outs as they are trying to flirt with disaster here and get out of this without yeah. giving up any runs. Reagan hand at the plate. One pitch away from from doing uh, just that. Reagan hand the the person that I don't have a position <laughs> for. That's she wears one. number Let's just 10. Be Reagan right? Reagan hand. The 10, where's the 10 batting in the ninth spot? Ooh, Swing after that and pitch on a the miss. Outside corner. <laughs> they leave two on the base pass and get one home. It's one nothing as the Lady Cardinals will come to plate in the bottom of the second. Right after this, here on the Cardinals Sports Network. Equality, affordable education is not out of reach. In fact, it's closer and more convenient than you might think. Trinity Valley Community College, with locations in Athens, Palestine, Terrell, and Kaufman, offers day and evening courses, online courses, and provides dual credit classes for high school students. TVCC is also home to several national championship sports programs. Headed to the bottom of the second inning. Trinity Valley coming up to the plate here. Due up for the Lady Cards. It'll be Fields.
Castaneda and Menchaca who will start things off. Boy, I've been impressed with the shortstop's play uh, defensively, but <laughs> she's even uh, just as impressive at the plate. Yeah, it's fun to watch. See if she can get things moving in the right direction for Trinity Valley. They trailed one nothing in game one before rallying off nine and winning at 9-1. Trying to bounce back here in the second. That one's in for strike one. Let's see what I have on Destiny. Let me flip some pages in my magical book. Making it look, uh, right. making smoke come out of that thing. It's like, <laughs> wow, that, that's a lot of, lot of depth. Is that one's one outside. So one and one, the, the count. Looks like we're from McAllen, Texas. And I like the fact that, if I remember, it's freshman, right? Also, I'm trying to actually look on here to see where that is, and I am not seeing that. But you know what I do see? I see 38 RBIs already. Come on now. And that, with her batting average at 330, that somehow tells me that there's been a lot of runners on base in front of her. I was gonna say so she's she's, got, she's had multiple RBIs. Well, as you look down, as you look down that lineup, I mean, all these high averages, something's got to give, right? I mean, you're good. <laughs> right. And uh, we were talking about kind of going into break. I think that one of the reasons they're averaging nine is they are giving up about a run a game, and then that eight run kicks in, and obviously that's an average. So it's not always that way, but good man, friends help each other out. That's the, it. In the lineup. We make two, each other look good. Two and two, that missing, so now full count. But you're exactly right. How many times can you think back over a career where, ah, didn't get it done. Hey, pick me up. Exactly, and that's what teamwork is for. It is exactly right. So one person has a bad day. That doesn't mean it's a loss for everyone. I mean, everybody's going to have a bad day. Now, that's that's a bad day for the hitter because yeah. that shortstop grabbed that out of nowhere. That was a good grab there really by the was. shortstop. Yeah, uh, Leah uh, Perales, Perales. Uh, did an excellent job on that one. She reached up, and uh, that was going in the hole, uh, left side, and uh, she just snagged it right out of the air, up over her head. Yeah, had to go a, a pretty long distance there to, to make it. So yeah. nice, nice play from Perales. Nice Here comes Castaneda, taking that for strike one. That's one of those hits that actually takes your arm back when you when you catch it. So might be feeling that one a little bit. <laughs> I know I would at this at this age. Oh my gosh, this age, yes. Here's the 01. Big difference. To Castaneda. Ooh, That's trouble. Again. Oh, bad. Knocked it Back down. Short stop, though. Yep, she knocked it down. But could not make the play. Wasn't going to have much of a chance because Castaneda can scoot herself. I, don't know if I would call that as an error. No, that's an infield yeah, hit. That's an infield hit. Got to be. Yeah, they're going to put a hit on the board out yeah. there. But I was I was going to say if, if if that's not that's a that's a tough day right. for you, isn't it? Exactly. I mean, even if she did snag that on the on the dive, she's with got the, the wheels, wheels. She wouldn't be able to throw her out. I don't think. I'm with you on that a thousand percent. So with Castaneda aboard, only one outfields takes that for ball one. Eliza Fields, right fielder. On deck is Ashlyn Weinert, the third baseman. Runner going. Oh, that Hit handle run. again. We got it. We got it. We got it. There we go. Makes the catch. Now throw over to first as uh, they had the hit and run on, but Castaneda gets back in time as that one was kind of one of those off the inside part of the bat, jammed her up a little bit. Yeah. Again. Good job of pitching there. Here's a look really at it. Fun thing, though. If, you, if you can get it down, it's it's great. So here comes Weiner to the plate. Oh, ah, it's trouble nice. down the left field yep. line, and it's it down. Dropped. Yep. Runner will stop in front of third. So runners at first and second, and DeBose come into the plate with two outs here in the bottom of the second. Two outs, two runners on, top of the lineup up. Uh, very important for this pitcher to really bear down right now. Yeah, and you, you got this out. You got to keep in mind DeBose and her uh, speed. So if infield, she can beat it out. You've got fields up at second. She's quick as well. Nice pitch. Not to say that Weinert isn't as well. <laughs> I mean, they're they've got some good good representation on the base paths. Oh and one to count. A little drop ball and it 
<laughs> will be a drop runner. ball. <laughs> yeah. and now we've got both runners in scoring position. A base hit will uh, could bring easily both of those home. Exactly. Let's see what happens. Let's see what they do here. Got a one-one on the batter. So at the hit, they're they're running. Off of the pit. Oh, off on contact. Yeah, on contact. So, and again, a base hit could, like you said, score two. That would give the Cardinals the lead. Yeah. They trail one nothing here in the bottom right of the second. Right center. She's going to take one into right center. Got a pretty good gap out there between yeah. center and right field. Let's see if she, of course, they are pitching her to the outside part of the plate yeah. there. Going to make it tough on her. Two balls and two strikes. Got another gap in left center. They really do. They're holding her pretty tight to the line over here. Yeah, they are. So that is a good point. And very rarely do you have two camps right. out there, but they've they've done their homework. Get your wheels on center field. Oh, trouble! She's yeah. going to have to hurry to get her. She yeah. does. She nice does. play yeah. by the nice shortstop. Play. And a nice scoop by the first baseman. Really uh, excellent scoop by that first baseman. You got to hustle to get Debose on a ground out, and they do to retire the side. So headed to the top of the third. Cardinals trailing the Bulldogs. It's one nothing here on the Cardinals Sports Network. No one ever said you need to be sick to get better. That's why at Baylor Scott & White, we're innovating how people get well and stay that way. Where prevention Last might one. just be the prescription. Way to work. Teaching is on the treatment plan. That's what I'll do. I'll and everyone is always on the same team. Yours. Baylor Scott and White Health, changing healthcare for the better. Sometimes managing your health and keeping track of all the details can feel a little overwhelming. But UT Health East Texas Virtual Care makes it easy to stay connected with your health care. You can message your doctor, see test results, pay your bills on time, and even request on-demand video visits to be seen right away from the comfort of your own home. All through your smartphone, tablet, or computer, from virtually anywhere. Less stress, more living. Headed to the top of the third inning, and Seinfeld references <laughs> abound in the booth <laughs> as uh, Stella Garcia. Stella. Now, that is all out of love because I love I was Seinfeld. Say, yes. I named my daughter yes. Estelle. Yes. And I remember telling her about the Seinfeld episode. She thought it was weird, like <laughs> out of like, and it, you know, it takes a while. So they go off to college and they come back and somehow there was an episode, the episode came up <laughs> and I'm talking like it came up on the television when we were at home we lived in <laughs> Illinois. Perfect. And she's sitting on the couch and all of a sudden they do the whole Stella. And she looks at me and she just starts busting out laughing. She's she like, got no, it. I get it. I get it. Oh, like it was out of love. Lord. Out of love. Really was. Stella at the plate with an 0 2 count. Here's the wind up from Ala uh, Alessandro and trying to get her chase upstairs. She is trying to get her to go up. So she's good with it she's yeah she loved she's it. fine yes yeah. she's fine and it was it was a great episode i could tell you i could tell you all about that episode actually uh, but i'm yeah. sure you could as a it's a one it's one kind of up. humor i get it I'm, I'm right there with you on that witty dry <laughs> and really doesn't hurt anyone right absolutely yeah. missing out side so two and two that's the great thing about it. I mean, it's a show that's really about nothing. It's, no, it's <laughs> not nothing. No, Jerry, it's about it's nothing. About nothing. <laughs> it's all and, about and again, nothing. I think I've alienated some of the audience here, but that's I okay. Know, that whole air, well, get that shot. Gets it over the uh, outstretched hustle there of Menchaca. Couldn't quite climb the ladder there. Right, and she took, the, she took it off the inside, but she got enough bat on it that it lifted it up over the short uh, stops head for a really nice line drive shot out to left center. So here's a look at it on the screen. And you see her just not able to yeah, quite just not. grab that one. That was a nice rip. So nice coming rip. to the plate here. I think this is Le uh, Leah Perales. Short Perales, stop. the short stop lets that one go by. Is that right? Number eight. Oh, I got the wrong one. I am so sorry. I are at Bentley. I am so sorry, Miss Bentley. So yeah, Bentley. Yeah, she's the right fielder. Ino, Ino <laughs> Easy for you to say. Ino Sinio. Ino 
I had it while I go until we go live, and now I can. There it is. That's that's what I was trying to say. Beautiful name. Beautiful young uh, lady at the plate would love to see uh, her. Her family would love to see her take it, yeah. you know, out into left field. Well, there are no seats in left field, but they'd love to see her bring her around upstairs for ball one. In high. So Bentley's in that uh, number two spot. Again, it's got to be that flexible position that um, her, you know, a lot of times in softball, you're moving that runner. You are the one that's laying down the bunt because you're dependable. Yeah, you got to be and consistent. So you got to be consistent. Three and oh, see if she gets something to work with him. Yeah. Walked her on four her. pitches. Boy, the lady cards uh, trying to work their way through this. He'll talk it over a little bit. I think we got a pitching change, a change coming. Too. And so with that, we're going to take a brief timeout and step away. We'll come back and tell you all about it here as the Cardinals trail one nothing and flirting with danger here in the third on the Cardinal Sports Network. Welcome to Trinity Valley Community College, home of the mighty Cardinals, offering hands-on education with an average teacher to student ratio of one to 20 at a third of the price of regional institutions. We teach, we strive, we succeed. TVCC, it makes sense. Apply today at tvcc.edu. And welcome back as the Cardinals will have Miranda Pena in the circle here. We got a little bit of a uh, update. I'll let Stephanie tell you a little bit about. Yeah, it looks like she's got about, uh, I'll, I'll look at the wins and losses here, but she's got some innings pitched uh, coming in with an ERA at 323. Um, she's got some uh, wins against uh, Midland College, Northeast uh, Texas Community College. Uh, both of those wins, the 12-4 win and the 12-1 win. Uh, so with... With uh, let's let's shift gears for a second okay. here. She's coming in, pretty tight spot here. You got runners first and second. You're down by a run, nobody out. What's uh, what's coach sh shared with her before she puts her in the lineup here? Calm down. I have confidence in you, and you, you're, it's time for you to shine. Yeah. Really. Yep. And she will do just that as she puts the foot on the rubber and ready to go here. First. She, she didn't make this mess, but she's in to help clean it up. So that's that's a good good analogy there. The you got a dirty kitchen. How do you clean yeah, up? Right. One dish at a time. One dish at a time. And preferably stay away from home dish. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the one. Oh, well, he's oh, down a bunt. Down that bunt. Good bunt. Coming up and no play. That's a smart. That was a smart girl. Nothing that the uh, Cardinals can yeah. do there as charging in from third was Weinert, but she thought about trying to get her at first, but knew I don't have a play. No, I don't have a play, and and so she faked it. And came back, and that runner was right on third. She didn't. She did not come off that bag. So bases are loaded. Still nobody out. Here is the first pitch to Mills. So Mills is the number four hitter. So we're in a bit of a quandary here. Yeah, you just got it. Miranda's got her uh, work cut out for you on the plate. And if going sorry, back, the mound. going back to Cooper, your three spot. You're not always thinking. Oh, she's gonna lay down a bunt no, here. No, not at all. So absolutely not. They they caught the lady. Lady's trying to make a uh, make a play. I mean, basically, well, you're looking at hey, the law of averages here. She's going to smash this right down. But softball's a little different. Yeah. And yeah. so what you do is you got no outs on the board, and and they really need to score as many runs as possible. So moving someone into scoring position yeah. is sometimes more important. And it's the sacrifice you make as a hitter in the lineup. That's a great point. They call it, they even call it sacrifice. Here's the one, yeah. one, and that in there for strike two. Boy, a strikeout here would be huge. It would be. It would be. You, you're facing the cleanup hitter. We've only, and we, I think we've only seen one strike, no, maybe two strikeouts this it's, entire game. Yeah, there's been very, very few. Here's the one, two. Sharp. Nice. Right at Weiner. She makes. Oh, no, 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 oh. no. Okay. Probably should have held on to that one and. Absolutely. uh Boy, throws it away. So the one run is home. Makes it 2-0. So line drive to the third baseman for the out. She saw the base runner on second base had a large lead, so she tried to throw her out. Overthrow into right field, scored the runner then um, from third. 
Boy, that's that's unfortunate. That's just one that as soon as she let it fly, she's like, oh, like man, why ball. did I do that? And we it, probably all got a story to tell at exactly. least once or twice with it's that. It's literally, the, oh, and there's a wild pitch. Not going to try it, though, as uh, hustling back to the backstop to retrieve yeah, that, that wide hop. So that's a straight back, a uh, good bounce that comes off of it. It was a... Coach, uh, nice job there. I think Menchaca uh, just looked at the official and said, hey, time out. Let's, <laughs> let's gather around here and it's talk. Gorgeous, gorgeous, and gorgeous. just gorgeous. everybody relax a little bit, getting together here. Yeah. You're looking at 2-0, at and I think one thing you, you talk about is, all right, guys, we're in a spot here, but let's get an out. I mean, we're – we're more than capable of putting runs across. Let's just not give up a huge inning as they've already got one run home, one out, runners at second and third. You gotta really be ready to to stop them defensively there. So good time out there from a coach on the field, your shortstop and Chaka. Exactly right. Tate Alexander at bat. She's the left fielder hitting number five. So Again, you're in the meat of the lineup. Yeah, this meat. is this is uh, yeah that three four five spot there for a reason. Oh, that is through. Is. Two runs are going to score as that gets all the way out into oh, center and field. She's going to take second base. She, yep, oh, they she had is. a shot at her, but unable to to put the tag on and apply. So it is four nothing after the base hit. Still only one out. I thought that was going to end up uh, costing her trying to take the extra bag as you get a good look at it here. It was a nice shot. I actually thought that second baseman was going to die for it. Yeah, I thought for a minute there that uh, Addie was going to have a play on that ball. But then the throw coming in, they had an opportunity that got by them as well. So one ball, no strikes. Trinity Valley trailing here in game two. They won 9-1 in the first one. Long way to go in this one, though. So they've got to just get out of this inning here and then would like to see those bats come alive in the bottom of the third. So Miranda's throwing some heat. She's uh, looks like, like rise ball is coming up out of the, the strike zone. As it's supposed to, to taunt any hitter. Right? Big, swing. big swing. Big swing, and that, that one was right in there. Felt the breeze up here. I <laughs> like to appreciate that very much so. As uh, it's two and one, big cut though. Fortunate she didn't connect on that one here. Let's see what she throws her here. Took a little Another something one. off. Got her again. Whitenhall giving her the fist after that one. She's she's feeling that. So two and two, the count. Trying she's to just swing big on two two of them now. Let's see what we got here. Nope. Good discipline at the plate there, not letting that one. Uh, it's interesting, just that little bit of time lag. Yeah. <laughs> it can throw you off as I, as I point to the monitor. Three and two fouls that one back. So we're all, all things considered here, you, you need a couple outs. You go in and you just start attacking at the plate. You do. You have to. This team's averaging right at nine a game. That one's fouled into the parking lot behind us here. So do we have uh, insurance coverage on our I car? I would Did certainly hope coverage? so. I am really thinking I'm going to walk out I've to a shattered windshield. <laughs> I've forgotten how important it is to park <laughs> at the end of the lot. <laughs> Steps are your friend. That's fouled and out. right at my car. And that, you know, I didn't hear it. It's good. <laughs> so far, I think, uh, well, you see a lot of people getting a lot of exercise right? chasing down foul exactly. balls. A lot of Where uh, are the cuts. Children? Three, two. Here comes the pitch. First base is open and swing. Oh, just got, a yeah, got a piece. Staying back. alive with a. Don't do it. Don't drop into the song. Don't do it. I'm not. I'm Good. doing CPR over here. Excellent. You saw that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think that that's the song anymore. I think they changed the song. They want to do something else for years. Oh, it's there's popped the up. Pitch, in, Come on, get it, get it. Field, oh. running out of real estate. Castaneda tried to, to chase that down, but uh, just to. Yeah, it's good, though. And Miranda's working hard on this hitter. She's doing a great job. Yeah, she's battling here. Three and two. One out. Paying off pitch is coming. 
Oh, yeah, there we three go. Three nice gets job. the outside corner, and there are two outs, and Whitenhop is fired up, letting her pitcher know it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. She's doing the dance. That was, man, that's that was good. great at bat. So that's a, that's a duel. That's what yeah. that is. They're really dueling. As so you get two athletes just going one at the other, and one is in in both sen senses, one is studying the other one. Yeah, with every pitch, with you start realizing, okay, yeah. she's leaning here. This is exactly. where she's going and vice versa. And the batter's trying to get in her brain. Mm. What is she going to throw me? Oh, and one, the count to Perales. Oh, oh, that's nice trouble, rip. but right at, right her. at her. Thank you. Line drive is cut. Castaneda retiring the side. So three runs plated by the Bulldogs in the third, headed to the bottom of the fourth. Cardinals trying to get the bats to come alive here in game two on the Cardinal Sports Network. Your team leaves everything on the field. They play with heart and with their mind. But being smart starts long before the kickoff. With the latest technology, sports medicine advancements, expert physicians, we can keep your team healthy and protect joints and growing bones for this big moment and their future on any field. Physician-owned Baylor Scott & White, Texas Spine & Joint Hospital. Ah, crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich can make you feel a lot of things. The spicy one can make you feel, what's the word? Tingly? Yeah, tingly. McDonald's spicy, crispy chicken sandwich. Order ahead on the app. Headed to the bottom of the third inning. Trinity Valley will send up do, uh, Hollingsworth, Widenhop, and Wittram. So Addie's starting it off, then the three and four do up here for Trinity Valley. Big inning, then, uh, needless to say. You didn't let me finish that last inning with a, it would have been a great hit if she wouldn't have caught it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that line drive to left fielder. Like, why Cat, do you have to be standing there? Yeah, she had to be feeling like, oh, man, I, I've got something working here. And Castaneda said, nah, I got Not you. Not so much. I got you. So big opportunity here for the cards with the two, three, four. Part of the lineup lays off of that. Oh, outside strike. Oh, and two the count. Addison's up. See if Addie can get something going here. Oh, oh, Pushes oh, oh, Addie out oh, in the oh, left yeah, field. It's, it's down. That's, That's a good a piece of hitting. Yeah. Just staying alive. You got to make contact. Right. Anything close. And she wow. and pushed it out in the she did. left field. Walking in on a 468 batting average, and she just a little poked one over that uh, into the hole and out there. Way to go, Addison. Absolutely. Way to use the bat. Way so, to use the stick. Yeah, that, that is a uh, clutch piece of hitting there for the leadoff batter getting aboard with a single after going 0-2. Coming to the plate now is the catcher, Kiara Weidenhall. She walked in the first See if she can get something to drive here. Freshman coming in with a 457 batting average and a dance move. Oh man, I'm I'm surprised the Cardettes haven't tried to <laughs> get her. She's you know, she's got the moves, man. I love it. You have to have fun. That's what bonds. Yeah, That's, man. That is the bond. Well, 30 years down the road, they'll be like, I, I played with this young lady. She was right. so lively, so had all the energy. Here's the 2-0 pitch. And you, you talked a little bit about it. Uh, Bulldogs over in their dugout have kind of come to life here before the inning even started. They were yeah. finally making some noise, having a little bit of fun over there. They were dead quiet in the yeah, first first ball game. Three and oh, they're being careful to Kiara. Outside for ball four. Walked around four pitches. Walked around four pitches. Here we go. So here comes Hollingsworth to the plate. Abby popped up to second in the first inning. So. Okay, see, Abby in that smile, let's go. Yeah, see if they give her even more to smile about here as the 460 hitter comes to the plate here. Chance to drive in an RBI. You know, the 
only difference I see between this and Division One is maybe some of the caliber of pitching. And so then, then people would say, because I'm, I'm looking at these batting averages, so what does that look like? But these girls still have very consistent sticks, and they're talented, and you can tell they're, they've developed a lot of skills. So there's a lot of talent on the teams. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and most of these students, uh, I don't want to say most, but a large majority of them will move on to the next level when their two years is up here. Yeah. That's... That's, that's one of the ways they are able to recruit, I think, so well, is a program that has a consistent, good academics and talent. Yeah, excellent placement. So if they're able to be recruited out of here, it's, that's really good. And you know what? It's, it's a reality. I was on a full ride. I got a, a full scholarship to an elite elite college. and Through the avenue the, of, of the softball love, that you love. That that's loved. beautiful. Here's the 1 0 pitch. There's That's nice down the left field, field line. Down the line in the corner. Pastor, she'll score from third, rounding, Ooh, heading into go third, in and, and see. easily in at third is Wyden Hop. And I'm not sure, holding that left shoulder is Hollingsworth. Did they collide? I did not see it. She's, I, she's, I, saw, I saw the hold on her shoulder, yeah. Maybe just got a little stinger. Not sure. Oh, then. And the second baseman was holding her left shoulder. Oh, maybe there was a little maybe collision. A little so the Cardinals are on the, on the board here in game two. It's 4-1. They're threatening two runners in scoring position here for oh, Nice Arnold. off speed pitch. And that. Tried to throw her off her groove. So now a 0-1 count. Little conversation <laughs> out there between the uh, catcher and pitcher like Hey, let's be real careful here. Yeah, you look at the replay, you see it instantly. I don't know if it was a stinger from the uh, the contact there. Great job, though. Yeah. These guys, nothing gets by them for sure. You see a rounding first, heading into second. Huh. Not sure what happened exactly. Interesting. Inside for so ball no contact, one. Right? No contact. No contact on that replay. Jaden Burnham at the plate. Yeah, Burnham with a chance to uh, pull the cards within one. A base hit here. Still fidgeting with that left arm. So Jaden Elise, 375 hitter. One and one. Here comes the pitch. Way outside. That's kind of easy one to lay off of. That's a very easy one to lay off of. When you see it headed towards the opposite team's <laughs> dugout. <laughs> Note to self, no probably not. No on that one at all, Tim. <laughs> Just maybe a hair. Maybe a little bit. So two and one, the count. Cards threatening here. Coming back inside part for strike two. I would have laid off that pitch too. Yeah, I, I'm with you. Because not much she's going to be able to do as she's looking kind of outside. Got to protect here. Nice wide stance. 2-2 two, two pinch. There. Popped it straight, Popped it straight up. up. First baseman. Makes the grab. So there's one out in the inning as Burnham is retired on the fly out to first. Did you see how the pitcher was uh, had been coached to get out of the way? Get out of the way. She Good was, coaching. She left the circle on the opposite side to give plenty of space for the first baseman. At first, I thought she was running over to Dutch Bros to get some <laughs> get little refreshments or something. But uh, matcha. Matcha tea. here comes Destiny Manchaka. Oh, Got underneath sky that one. Skies. She's going to oh, make the grab got, in left the field in foul territory. But scoring yeah, on the play right. will be Wittram. I thought that was going to be long foul, and I just kept an eye on the monitor because we were kind of shielded. But a great piece of camera work there as she will come in and wide, uh, widen Hop makes it a 4-2 game as she plates here in the third. Here comes Castaneda. Still has a runner in scoring position if they could get, get her home. Two outs in the inning. A fly out to first and a fly out to left. Casanova's hometown's Magnolia, Texas. South Texas girl. Yeah. 
There's the 1 0 pitch. Way outside. 2 0. Kind of interesting when you're from a touristy town, right? Kind of get a different feel for it where people yeah. have one opinion and you probably have another. That's a good point. I'd love to t yeah. twist her ear and just hear her conversation. Inside pitch. So 3 0. Oh. They've got first base open and on deck. You've got fields. So I'm not sure if they're intentionally pitching, you know, around her, or just trying to not give her something over the fat part of the plate. And they're talking. That catcher is talking to somebody. Let's see what they do here. As on that second is Hollingsworth. She's still trying to get loose. Hoping she's able to fight through that. Nice three pitch. A, that was a definitely a strike. Yeah, taking there. So three and one. Fields on deck, and then Weinert would be in the hole. I love how TVCC's uh, third base coach is way back in that corner. Oh, that's oh, a it's rim. a base hit. That's a nice well, shot. She'll Got score fire, she's easily. Score. Yep, she's in. That's As the left fielder yes. with a little bit of a bobble, it was going to be close anyway, but then that bobble made it very easy. In fact, going in at second is Castaneda right. with the speed, so it is Four three, okay. tying run is just 120 feet away. Cardinal Batch knew it was just a matter of time, or you felt like, hey, you better get all you can in that top of the third because Trinity Valley is definitely going to be coming back strong. So, that, so that was really that's uh, Carly Glaze is coming in uh, to hit for. Uh, that Ashlyn or Liza? Coming on for Fields, yeah. yeah so, fields. so that's uh, uh, Carly Glaze. So Glaze will be 25 at bats, 373 average, one homer, 11 RBIs. She's a freshman this year. And as you look at uh, this opportunity for the freshman, she's got a big chance to kind of really grab the uh, grab the momentum here yeah, is Trinity Valley is down 4-3. They've put three up and a two-out base hit here could tie it. By the way, Carly, from Sweeney, Texas, I actually uh, was a Sweeney Bulldog. You were a Sweeney Bulldog. Down near the coast. My brother has a great story of because Sweeney is about, I don't know, 15 minutes from the beach. Yeah. And he was supposed to be out looking for work. Mom found all the sand in his <laughs> car. Oh, there's a story. There's a long foul ball. Okay, girl's got to swing. Carly sent that one yeah, off the she's track. She's not afraid to make contact. She's not afraid to swing the bat. So 0 and 1 to Carly. I interrupted you. You were about to oh, say I something. See that bat, that last hit. The, the 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 reason we could score on that is that runner on second was going with the contact. Mm, and so exactly. when they don't look back, when you got two outs, you're running hard until it, until you're stopped, right? Oh, they, got her. they will get the retire play over there. At first, I thought that's more up the middle, but uh, easy, easy play for the shortstop. Short yeah, so it's 4-3 as Perez will retire Glaze. And the Cardinals put up three in their half of the third. It's 4-3. Navarro over Trinity Valley on the Cardinals Sports Network. Welcome back, Trinity Valley athletes. Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Sports Medicine is here to keep you going at full force. Our commitment to helping athletes perform at their best on and off the field is our core strength. Whether it's orthopedics, performance, or wellness, physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Hospital is your choice for better health in East Texas. Just like every hard-driving Cardinal, we're focused on excellence every day. Prosperity Bank offers free checking. Let's take a look. No monthly maintenance fee? Check. No individual check fees? Check. Free debit card? Check. Unlimited withdrawals? Check. Free online banking? Check. Easy access and friendly service? Check. Close to home? Check. Simply free checking from Prosperity Bank is simply free. I'm taking these checks to the bank. Prosperity is the big bank with your community's bank inside. Prosperity Bank, where you find real bankers, not just a bank. Got a good one going on in the double header, the nightcap of the double dip, the twin bill. What am I trying to say? It's 4-3 as we go into the top of the fourth. Cards trailing the Bulldogs by one. First pitch is 
outside for ball one. So as uh, Trinity Valley is on defense here, you've got Sadie Flores. Yeah, Sadie Flores, number 20 is up to bat. At the plate. I think it's important for the cards to get a bounce back inning here. Go, you know, you, you put up three, now you want to go defensively yeah. and put the pressure on them, right? Let's get back in the groove because they, uh, that's honestly, uh, you know, I've only watched a few games, but kind of, uh, things kind of fell apart. Uh, and they were some unfortunate uh, throws that didn't need to happen, things like that. So um, they know that, those, late, those young ladies know it. And just like you said, when it leaves your hand, you're like, why did I just throw that ball? So 2-1 as Flores uh, skies that one foul here is the next pitch. Tried to get her to chase, but uh, it's going to catch the outside corner for strike two. I just noticed something during the uh, the break here. What's that? Have you noticed our fluorescent lights that are not fluorescent? <laughs> Those are cool. I, I'm, I'm digging the lighting here. 2-2. Two two. Oh, nice rip to the shortstop. Grabs it on her knees. Yeah, Machaca right at her. says, I've seen a few of those in right? my day. Yeah, that's good. So one out as the line drive goes off the bat of Flores L6. Would have been a great hit if she wouldn't have caught it. <laughs> I feel like that could catch on here. Right? So here comes Reagan Hand. Hand in the box. Nice pitch. Yeah, going strong at her there. Brought a little extra heat mm -hmm. to Reagan. Yeah, Miranda's got some, she's got some power coming off, coming off the mound. Here comes the 0 one offering. Took a little bit off that. Ooh. 0 and 2 now. Hit something. Big thud in the parking lot. So Trinity Valley, uh, is sitting in first place right now in Region 14 mm -hmm. as they are 5-0 and in conference play. Who's coming up behind them? Well, that's a good question. We're going to get a chance to look at that here in a couple of moments. I have it somewhere in this stack. Okay, that's um, all right. We'll get it, a look at those stats here before long. But uh, I think I have it in you've, got, too. you've got a very uh, tough Paris team. I'm trying to find it as we speak. But... Um, you know, over the next few weeks, TVCC will face the meat of that lineup uh, in, in Region 14. So it's going to be really tough over the next few games. TJC coming up next weekend, yeah, which is another big rivalry. They'll be in Tyler for that series. Would be amiss if we did not mention coming up on the uh, weekend of the 5th and 6th. It's the Trinity Valley Rodeo, and Cardinal Sports Network will have that for you. That is going to be a check down. They said she did hold up. So hope you'll join us for that broadcast as J.J. McClellan will bring you all the ins and outs. I'll have my, uh, I'll have my old... Cowboy hat polished Ooh. up. There's a There's bouncer a to short. Machaka yes. got her by nice. a step. How about this? <laughs> that is destiny. Machaka, no room for error on no. that. She had to hustle to get that one. So with a quick delivery, they will get the second out of the inning. Not quite a shoestring catch on it, but just a power throw. It just wasn't as hard hit. She had to actually really move to get to the ball. That is popped up into foul territory over to make the grab to retire the side. It is Burnham over at first, and that will be three up, three down. We're headed to the bottom of the fourth. Trinity Valley coming to the plate with a shutdown inning of Navarro. They trail 4-3. Coming up more after this on the Cardinal Sports Network. When joints begin to fail, it's more than an inconvenience. The relentless grinding pain slows you down and can even stop you from doing the things you enjoy in life. At UT Health East Texas, our skilled orthopedic and sports medicine experts are using advanced joint technologies to get you back to being you sooner with a less painful recovery. We're doing more than restoring joints. We're restoring lives. 
Your favorite thing delivered right to your door means that you never have to stop doing your other favorite thing. Nailed it. Order McDelivery in the app. Headed to the bottom half of the fourth inning, Trinity Valley, Chelling 4-3, and due up here for the Cardinals, it's going to be Weinert, DeBose, and Wittram. So here, uh, Trinity Valley is down by just a run here after that big push in the uh, top or the bottom of the third, now trying to go all the way yep. over the top here. I have a feeling we're going to see some bats. I think they have... Been challenged going into the bottom of the third. They answered with three, and they came out with a strong defense. Let's see they how did. they do as Weiner takes like gotten back together. the first one for strike one. There's some of my favorite teams, really, and uh, series or doubleheaders that we would play would be those were, that were the most competitive. We always played our best game when we played great teams. Yeah, bring and out so the best in it you, doesn't really, it? It really, really does. 0-2 oh now as... Weinert takes a long look down, surveys the field. But you're right, the uh, coaching staff, he says, hey, look, I don't have to take one off the chops. I'm in short left field. <laughs> right. There's not a runner on base. I will get there in the line of sight when needed. I've seen some, I have seen some third base coaches being, take, being taken out by line drives. I really have. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Uh, I, w I wouldn't get out there unless I was wearing catcher gear. <laughs> so, swing and a miss, and that will retire Weinert. So, you do a good job to get the leadoff batter out, retiring her on a strikeout. Here comes Mariah DeBose. DeBose is 0 for 2 in the afternoon. It's time for a hit, young lady. She is definitely more than capable, though, as we've talked about. If she gets on, she's basically in scoring position. Right. Because she's got so much speed. Leads the conference and steals. Has 32 on the year in region 14. So definitely in that leadoff spot for a reason. 402 average. The on-base percentage is uh, pretty impressive, yeah, too. Yeah, it, it is. 529. 529. Not too shabby. Who are you? That's in there for a strike. One ball, one strike. Thanks for joining us this afternoon here for Cardinal Softball. Coming to you from Rip Drumgool Field at Kane Park. That is in there for strike two. Working the left side of the plate. So outside corner for for DeVos. And that's, she's not going to have any power there. She can only poke over there. Let's see what they like to do. She will have to shorten the stance. One and two. Lays off that one. Good eye there from the... Center fielder for the Cardinals. Just get the vibe that you really uh, want to see something take place here for the Cardinals. Right. Offensively, you're back at the top of the lineup. Wittram on deck. Nope. Lays That's off right. of that one. Great eye there from the center fielder. Yeah, full count. Here we go. Worked it full. And this is a huge pitch because, I mean, I don't want to beat a dead horse, but goodness, she's so yeah. fast. She's... A pitch away from a stolen base. There's a 3-2. Payoff pitch is way inside, and DeBose gets it done. She's on with a walk. Like a new hesitation. So Wittram coming to the plate. Addy had scored back in the third. Was a big instrument in getting it going. As she had that single, was the first player to score before the cards would score three. Forgotten the fun of all the signs from the third base coach. I just watched him. Did he work through a nice little uh, quite the series of <laughs> signs and signals? It again brings back memories. Of course. Pops that one into short left. That might get down. Nope, nope. not enough uh, time there. And getting back quickly is DeBose. So they had that hit and run on again. They did. But uh, popped it up into left field. So Two down in the inning, and here comes Kiara Weidenhop. Love to see her get something she can handle. That's right. Get to that part of the game here where uh, every pitch matters. 
fourth inning. This freshman hails from Spring, Texas. And she is quite the utility player. She's uh, obviously a strong catcher. She does a great job behind the plate, and she's the first baseman to key positions. See what they do as she takes that first pitch outside for ball one. Hollingsworth on deck. You know, so many times we want to own a position, but it's really to our benefit to really sharpen our skills in several positions. Be and more valuable. Absolutely be more valuable. Outside corner, strike one. See if they're going to challenge the arm here of the catcher and try to get her in scoring well, position. Yeah. Let's see. Not much uh, so far. We'll see what they like to do. One and one, two. Shade, I feel. There she goes with a pitch. Throw is high, and she's in easily. So now with the ball, it's a 2-1 count. Widenhoff, who sees the tying run right in front of her. Now so. we take a big breath, and we step in there. Now we've got a new situation. Asking for time. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to jump no, through no. your uh, process here, though. But working through the process now, it is a different scenario. So you're looking for a different pitch or you, your mindset. Here's a 2-1. Oh, is. that's oh, true. Get, get, get. Right at her. Doggone. Tagging from second. Oh, that two, two outs. outs. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to help her much. <laughs> I was tagging. I was saw her tagging, and I was like, oh, you only get – so you only get – Three outs in an inning now. Out. When did they change that? <laughs> Let's go to the top of the fifth. A good defensive stop there from Navarro. It's 4-3 as Trinity Valley trails Navarro here on the Cardinals Sports Network. Quality, affordable education is not out of reach. In fact, it's closer and more convenient than you might think. Trinity Valley Community College, with locations in Athens, Palestine, Terrell, and Kaufman, offers day and evening courses, online courses, and provides dual credit classes for high school students. DVCC is also home to several national championship sports programs. Headed to the top of the fifth inning. Trinity Valley trailing by one, 4-3, as it will be the likes of Cooper coming to the plate. Or is it Bentley? It's I'm, Bentley. Okay, Bentley. Bentley. number eight, right fielder. Right fielder Bentley stepping into the box from the right side. Big I got, swing. I got to drive a Bentley one time. Oh, I was going to say, it's tell me about this. Place. Well, I, I've uh, dreamed of driving a Bentley a time or two myself. I, I actually got to drive one. Now, uh, were there red lights in the rearview mirror? Do you realize anyone? No, but let me tell you, it was, it was a friend of mine's. It, it's a long story, but just let me tell you, he refused to move his car. If I moved my car, I took a chance of scraping his. And I'm like, will you just move your car? And he's like... No, I really don't want to. And I go, well, then fine. Give me the keys to your car. Bentley down on strikes as the Bentley story continues. Right, as the Bentley story yeah, continues. And I said, fine, I'll just drive it home. And he's like, here, here are the keys. I'm like, I'm not driving. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, you are. And I'm like, okay, fine. So I, then I laughed. And I put 20, I took a $20 bill out of my wallet. And I laid it on the, the counter. And I said, well, here's for at least the first deer I hit. Oh, my goodness. And nice shot. Cool. Excellent catch by the center fielder. That is a... Great hustle play there from DeBose. Off with the crack of the bat and brought it all the way in to make the grab. Yeah. So you uh, wrecked it and gave him 20 no, bucks is I, what you're I saying. I drove it home, but oh. I couldn't punch it because <laughs> you were. It's, I, I, and then on with that, it's a long story, but I used to actually cook for an elite uh, duck club in mm. Illinois. So I actually cooked for the... CEO of Caterpillar and for this group of men uh -huh. in this private club. I've, been, I've cooked for the governor of Illinois. Like, there's all kinds of stuff. There's got to be a little pressure there's, on there's that. Oh, no. You just cook. You just cook it. You just cook. 
And um, that's what so they I, say I, now when when they're doing really well in the field. Let uh, let him cook. Let, let him cook. Let it cook. So, yeah. Uh, one of my things I love to do. Um, and so I would uh, then I left. It was one of the parties, and so I left, and I had to be back at four in the morning. So then I'm driving back in the dark again. And oh my! During deer season. That's yeah. That's not easy. Yeah, that's so, upstairs for ball two. So two and one the count. Two outs. We got two outs already. It's a quick inning. Let's see what else we got here. Again, Four Miranda three. Pena is bringing some heat. She's doing a great job. She has stepped up in a tough spot. Yep. That, is that is straight up. up in the air. Somebody call somebody off. And that'll there retire the side. Menchaca makes the catch and is 4 3 as we head to the bottom of the fifth. Right here on the Cardinals Sports Network. No one ever said you need to be sick to get better. That's why at Baylor Scott and White, we're innovating how people get well and stay that way. Where prevention Last might one. just be the prescription. Way to work. Teaching is on the treatment plan. That's what I'll do. I'll and everyone is always on the same team. Good girl. Yours. Baylor Scott and White Health, changing healthcare for the better. Sometimes managing your health and keeping track of all the details can feel a little overwhelming. But UT Health East Texas Virtual Care makes it easy to stay connected with your health care. You can message your doctor, see test results, pay your bills on time, and even request on-demand video visits to be seen right away from the comfort of your own home. All through your smartphone, tablet, or computer from virtually anywhere. Less stress, more living. Headed to the bottom of the fifth, and the Cardinals find themselves with a one-run deficit. Coming to the plate here, it's Abby Hollingsworth. Let's see what Abby can... Uh, it had to feel good coming off that, that field with three quick outs, right? I'm telling you, that is what it's about, man, getting that getting that energy right in your mind, a little momentum. It's funny how... Momentum. That's exactly right. Here's the first pitch outside to Abby. Abby is... One for two officially on the day. Okay. You've got a, a good look at uh, some of her stats. I've got a ton of stats here. Freshman from Wiley, Texas. She's coming in with a 460 average uh, to this game and 38 RBIs. Uh, oh, got oh, underneath man. that one. Should have room going yeah. back. Well, oh, lost oh, it and it's oh, out it of here. Out of the park. Abby Woo! Hollingsworth sending it, sailing. There she got go. underneath it. That. And I felt like it was off the handle. Yeah, she got under it, off the handle, and just muscled right? it up. Look at the smile there. It is a tie ball game. And Hollingsworth getting it done. She can add that to her 10 overall home runs. Boy, that is what we talked about in the pregame is she's just been uh, lights out. And that's why so many teams try not to give her anything to hit because she is dangerous serve that girl up abby came in with 10 home runs uh, on the day and hitting 460 well that helps thanks along it's 404 and now the pressure back on navarro yeah we got Jaden uh, burnham at the plate and she's looking at a 1-0 count trinity valley trying to remain perfect in region 14 action Oh, it's a nice rope. They're still getting the bat on the ball. It's good. Hit that one on a rope down the third base line into the kind of the bullpen area over there. Ouch, Charlie. So with one and one, the count now to Burnham. And we used to send somebody out to protect all the time when we were uh, warming up. That's for sure. There is someone down there with, with a uh, glove on and definitely paying attention. Tim, did I just get a whiff of you? Have you got some cologne on? Like, did you shower today? That's not me. I No, something. of course not. <laughs> I shower, but somebody is somebody smelling is good out there. Somebody smells good out there. What's up with that? We're, we're going <laughs> to... Look at you looking around. <laughs> trying to find out. I got to go find out who their clonist is. <laughs> I think I just made up a word. Two and one, the count. Oh, oh that would have been a tough play if it got oh, by her. But then she throws it into right For field. The, yeah. Holy moly. Yeah. That's a tough play because I just was about to say it was going to be a tough play if it would have got by the first, by the pitcher. Right. But, man, that's one she would love to have back. Now, 
coming to the plate. It's Destiny Menchaca. Here's a look at it. Yeah, I see it. Just threw it towards the home home plate side of first, back up the line a little bit. And man, oh man. We used to have a, some issues with that. And you, you think about it, your pitchers are throwing underhand 98% of the time. Uh-huh. And so several of my coaches conditioned our pitchers to go ahead and wind up and throw it underhand to the first baseman. Just out of, just to keep that rhythm. Because rhythm. that's what they could control and that's what they knew how to do. In to run for Burnham is going to be Maya Torres. Torres as a freshman out of Buda, Texas. Now, Menchaca come into the plate. See how they pitch to destiny here. Long time just looking now, puts a right. foot on the rubber and come into the plate. We got no outs and a runner in scoring position. Let's see what we can do. We got a tie ball game. This could, this could take us up. Dangerous part of the, the game here for Navarro, isn't it? I mean, you, you start realizing, man, we were up 4-0. Right. That evaporated pretty quick. 4-3, now 4-4. Oh, trouble. It is trouble. Long throw. And okay. they're going to. What was the call? I did not, I did not see it. They do retire yeah. Yeah. It looked like they got Menchaca. Right. That's a good play because it caroms off the third baseman. The shortstop guns it. Here's a look at it. It was quite the throw, actually. Yeah. So in the hold, even almost took a glance there. Yeah, they got her. Got her by just before that foot comes down. That's a tough, tough play there. And that that uh, deflection might have actually helped in that play because otherwise that thing may be sitting in left field. I don't think that uh, the shortstop, forgive me, I'm trying to. Castaneda at the play, Crystal. Chris, uh, that was a great play from the shortstop. It really was. Deep it, it was. She was deep in the hole, so yeah. it was an excellent throw. And so the first baseman came up with the play. 1-0 to Castaneda. So if you're scoring your book at home, that's officially going to be 5-6-3. <laughs> and that's how I'm going to put it in the book because the third baseman hands it off <laughs> to yep. the shortstop. Tipped, tipped over. Even though... If you look at it 20 years from here now, really? They handed yeah. it off? No, it caromed off of them, but nonetheless. You would not believe how many score books I moved, and then I finally threw them away. Is that right? Yes. Because you can look at it, and you can go, hey, I, I remember that. There's a strike in there, make it a two and one count. That was a big pitch there because she was dangerously close to going three and oh, but now two and one. One away. Uh, it's out of here, is it? Long and it's gone. Out of here. Oh my goodness. Look How at her about go. Crystal Ann Castaneda? Come on, girl. That is a shot. Woo! And look at that celebration waiting. Look at the line That's down there. Right. They are ready they to celebrate with her. That was big there for Crystal Ann Castaneda as uh, she puts the Cardinals on top, 6-4. You know, she only has one home run showing, so that's a big deal for her. Look at it as it's leaving the park, and I love the expression as she was going out into uh, first yeah. base. Big grin. I think she knew <laughs> this has a chance. Uh, so, I remember hitting one out of the park like that, and I thought it was long and foul, and when I looked up and saw the umpire, you know, do the little yeah. all around, I was like, what? <laughs> That is a great, great job. We got a pitching change here. Cardinals up by two, six, four in the fifth. We'll step away for a brief timeout here on the Cardinals Sports Network. Your team leaves everything on the field. They play with heart and with their mind. But being smart starts long before the kickoff. With the latest technology, sports medicine advancements, expert physicians, we can keep your team healthy and protect joints and growing bones for this big moment and their future on any field. Physician-owned Baylor Scott & White, Texas Spine & Joint Hospital. Into the circle for the Bulldogs, number four, Tabitha Jackson. She'll be called on 
to stop the bleeding here. It's 6-4, <laughs> Trinity Valley coming back in this one. And, man, this has been a uh, battle. They've had their work cut out for them. But in the last two innings, they've, uh, or actually last three innings, they've put up six runs. They have. And I tell you what, it's just expect the unexpected. If, even if I wasn't calling this game, I would come out and watch these games. These are good games. These They're are fun. Solid. A lot of fun. A lot, a lot of moving. Yeah, yeah it's it's not a uh, dead time in the ball game as most of these uh, young ladies have. They definitely know this game and they're they're playing at a really high clip yeah. as TVCC Cardinal softball is ranked 15th in the nation right now and leading Region 14, five and zero oh, and trying to uh, improve to six and zero oh tonight. How about that from Crystal Damn, Ann Castaneda? On. Castaneda stepped up. You mentioned she only had one prior to Welcome that. To so Trinity now Valley her Community second College. long ball. And coming into the plate is Carly Glaze. She came on for Fields last time up. Tabitha's throwing a little heat. Look at there. Bringing that one in there for strike one. Carly, uh, you'll recall, had that long foul ball out of uh, yes. down the third baseline. And then uh, last pitch on that one was called out. Wasn't that a walk-off strikeout? Uh, I think so. I'm, I've got to go back. Yeah, yeah, that is the case. So one and one with still only so one out. She's right now. Let's, go, let's get it. I think she's she's trying to time her out right here. There's it's a ripped. shot. There it is. Shot. Come on. Glaze rounds first with a single and gets it. Uh, they get it quickly back into the infield, but Carly Glaze coming through with a big base hit there. Yeah, that was a nice shot. That yeah. was a strong hit. That was a stroke. Yeah, that, that definitely brought the uh, energy with a liner just out past the stretched arms of shortstop. the shortstop well, Perales. Yeah. And we've seen her make some great plays. She's got good range, so... She does. so Going to be a pinch hitter coming on for Weinert here. Coming in to bat is going to be number 30, Allison Garcia. She's a returning freshman out of Corpus Christi. So Allison will get a... She's probably had some sand between her toes. I was going to say, I'm, I want to ask her, have you ever been <laughs> job hunting and mom said, hey, why is this all this sand out here in your car? Don't bring that up, please. It's right. not a good memory. <laughs> so as we uh, look things over here, it's a two-run lead for Trinity Valley. They were trailing 4 nothing going into the bottom of the third. They put up three. Then a scoreless inning by both teams in the fourth. Trinity Valley coming back with three and not done yet here in the fifth. Here comes Garcia's first pitch. Takes that outside. Outside. She's made 47 plate appearances in 23 games and 39 at bats she's registering. So it uh, looks like um, got a couple homers on her, under her belt. So she can get something to drive here. One and oh, the count. Outside for ball two. One at first is Eliza Fields. Fields came in to run for Glaze. Glaze. So Eliza puts Eliza back in the game. A double move there as a pinch hit Garcia and Fields comes on at first. Turned on that one but uh, fouls it down the third baseline. So two and one. I'm going to watch Tabitha a little bit. She looks like she's got a little bit of a different uh, back, back swing to her her pitch <clears throat> can throw a hitter off yeah different different type of delivery from a little bit different delivery tabitha and she's checking on the she's checking time looks like she's checking the time <laughs> she's, she's yeah she's she's saying wait a second <laughs> maybe she's got something written what? down there. i don't know what checking that's going on the pitch throw. fields oh, is gonna got her. be gunned down at second. They got her. That was a, quite a throw from the catcher. Yeah, a nice, strong the, uh, throw. Yeah, uh, Brindley. Brindley Burke. Nice. Burke. And a little, little gimpy going in at... Here's a throw down. Let's look at it. Oh, he... That's close. 
I love the Coach back, is back, getting. Back. Oh, 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 oh. Boy, she's she's faster going backwards than <laughs> the replay. Good replay though. Here's a slow look at it. They got her yeah, just, just by a yeah. little, little bit. What well, nice throw. Good effort from Fields, but uh, that will retire her. It's an interesting feeling when you're playing short, short stop too, knowing somebody's coming in with cleats or, or if they're coming in head first. There's yeah. a little bit of a confidence difference in that. And so if you've ever been cleated and ripped up, uh, I don't know what these girls are wearing, but it will definitely get your attention. Get your attention. Something to think about for sure. Yeah. In hey, I was so good. I cleated myself one time. That takes talent, my friend. Let's <laughs> see what the officials are yes, uh, talking it over here. Not sure exactly what that was about but they have taken a minute to make sure we're all on the same page out where they're going out for dinner after this game which is well, i'm going to stanley you're going to tyler going to this tyler. evening i understand yeah. so here's three one count to glaze oh Take sorry garcia head. well scott's got good taste going over there it's i kind of picked it up oh, wait a minute good taste all four oh well both. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just stop. Scott. Walking. Scott is. A, that is a, a great spot. And by the way, here is a runner on first with two outs and coming to the plate. The speedy yes. Devo. She's Devo's back up. Mariah's back up. Mariah with a chance. She's got some dirt on her. On her pants. Too. That's a great sign of a ball player. It isn't is. it? I mean, weren't you? Now I got to know. Were you high high pants? So. You, low what was your style uh we were high pants in college uh you know higher to, you know so long socks higher pants i wish we would have gone lower it would save your legs yeah I mean, that ain't no joke still recovering from all those scars so i was gonna I have, say I have scar stories too we were talking last week about the artificial turf as it's a one one yeah. count and uh, I, I did a little that. research after after that and some of those uh, kiddos are going to be wearing those the rest of their days. Right. Well, double A women's majors, though, we wore shorts. Oh, man. I, yeah. I, I don't know that I could have slid. <laughs> running into third. Why aren't you getting down? Well, I got to play on a USA about that team tough. years ago, and we were in New Zealand and Australia. And I am not kidding. We played on gravel. Up the middle with a base hit. You're kidding. No. That is a clutch hit there from DeBose coming through, nice moving yeah, in at second is Glaze. DeBose with a single, and you're playing on gravel. It was gravel. Oh. It was gravel. So two outs in the inning, and here comes Addison Wittram. Addie has had a nice game this second half, uh, this double hitter. Been playing well all day long. See if she can drive home a run here with two outs in the fifth. We can't, they can't let off here. This is where they actually need to, to bear down and keep scoring runs. Yeah, you really got to put a little distance between you because this Navarro team showed up with three in the third. And it brings your confidence back up to level. Like, like they That's can right. still walk off of here with several more runs. So if they can do something here with two outs, here's the 1 0. There it is. There's a nice shot. shot. That's all the, the way hole. to the wall. One. Oh, and it caroms off. off. Side. We're going in for a triple. DeBose easily, yeah, easily in. Easily up. Stand-up triple for DeBose. And that's Wittram in with the triple as Addie. You'll recall she yeah. had that, that earlier in the play where there was a bang-bang okay. play at third. So she's she's making a living over there on that yes, one. Yes, she is. But that was interesting. The ball hit a panel and just Shut it back the other way. to the left. Here's a look at it. Center fielder. Whoops, oh, where'd he go? Hey. And so, uh, Dang it. Addie just flying around the base pass. Again, you got two outs and you're running hard until your coach tells you to stop. So now eight for Trinity Valley. And Kiara Weidenhoff at the plate. Kiara with a chance to build on this. Cardinal lead. Nice shot again, Miss Addison. 
Lots of fun watching them round the base paths. Yeah, Addie did not get cheated on that swing, did she? She did not. Bad missing outside, so 2-0. Oh. So, you know, I feel like they've come back up to the, the plate. Um, but Tabitha, they've got her number. I think so. Jackson's kind of struggling wise, here. 2-0. Yeah. Oh. Takes some, She says, yeah, I think you're right. So I'm going to take about 40 miles per hour off of that and let it just slowly come in. But ready for it. Have was you Kiara ever watched the ESPN special? Uh, this is a while ago, so I remember watching it even with my kids. We were walked around four pitches, yeah. What do you know? But no, carry anyway, on, carry on. And it literally shows the difference between like women's pitching underhand and men overhand, and the velocity of the ball. Um, compared to the distance and mm. how difficult it is actually to hit women's fastball. Yeah, because of the distance, a lot shorter, so that's coming Absolutely. in at a, a very high rate. We've got a pitching change going on here at Rip Drum Go Field at Kane Park. Coming in to pitch, another Bulldog. It is an 8-4 lead for the Cardinals. We'll step away more after this on the Cardinals Sports Network. Welcome to Trinity Valley Community College home of the mighty Cardinals, offering hands-on education with an average teacher to student ratio of one to 20 at a third of the price of regional institutions. We teach, we strive, we succeed. TVCC, it makes sense. Apply today at tvcc.edu. Now into pinch for the Bulldogs. Number seven, it's Jenny Hahn. Hahn. Teamwork makes the dream work. I was about to say Jenny Vaughn, and then I wanted to go Jenny Bond, but it was Jenny Hahn. So uh, into pinch in the circle. She's She's got a tough spot here as it's 8-4. Cardinals have put up five runs here in the fifth. And you've got a uh, opportunity here with two runners on base to add to that. And the always dangerous Abby Hollingsworth coming up. Uh, Abby left the yard her last time up. See, see how they yeah. pitch to her. We'll see how she does. Yeah, she. And she's fun to watch uh, just in her approach uh, every time. She's, you may not always see her get a hit or on base every time, but even if they retire her, it's usually a good at bat. She's swinging there trying to get the runner caught, and they're going to come after her. Oh, we got we got one scored here. The runner scored before the play. Did she drop the ball? Before the Count play. the run. Count so the run. they will. Right. Interesting. They get the uh, run home, and I, as I'm telling the story about Abby and her approach, she <laughs> swings like that is, I don't want to hit the ball. Right. I don't want to hit it. I just tried to distract. Her. So the uh, Cardinals get the run in. And uh, we go to the top of the sixth. Trinity Valley back out in front, leading it 8 4 here on the Cardinal Sports Network. No one ever said you need to be sick to get better. That's why at Baylor Scott and White, we're innovating how people get well and stay that way. Where prevention Last might one. just be the prescription. Way to work. Teaching is on the treatment plan. And everyone is always on the same team. Yours. Baylor Scott and White Health. Changing health care for the better. Sometimes managing your health and keeping track of all the details can feel a little overwhelming. <laughs> But UT Health East Texas Virtual Care makes it easy to stay connected with your health care. You can message your doctor, see test results, pay your bills on time, and even request on-demand video visits to be seen right away from the comfort of your own home. All through your smartphone, tablet, or computer from virtually anywhere. Less stress, more living. 
Headed to the top of the sixth, it's Trinity Valley leading 8-4 over Navarro as uh, Hollingsworth will come back up in the bottom of the sixth after they, boy, that's the epitome of manufacturing a run, yes, wasn't it? Yes, it is. That's what that was. That was fun to watch, and, and it was ex executed very well. So the whole idea is to get them to play on you as long as that runner can cross the plate, and they did it. So about ready for action here as uh, coming to the plate for the Bulldogs. Where are we in the lineup? Well, let's see here. Number 17 checking in at the plate. Fouls that one out 17, of play. Jaden Alexander, left fielder. The, left, the lefty that plays left, left field, field, Alexander. Right. So fouls that one out of play. Alexander was retired back in the second. So I know you were you were trying to Ooh. pop set up out into left. Castaneda over and makes the grab. Yeah, there we go. I was trying to look up the pitching distance. So um, in playing in, in Division One, we were at a distance. And then we were two feet shorter in at AA Women's Majors. And so it was very interesting. We would play summer ball and we'd be playing this top tier level. And honestly, we would come back in in the fall and we would have a fall season, which was not our, um, it wasn't our conference season, but we would have a short fall season. In that short fall season, we would crush. <laughs> just ball. that little bit of two that, feet difference. That two foot difference. We would just come in and crush it. That is popped up, going over and just running out of room. But good effort from Ryden Hop to, to final, to Give it the try, but yeah. not enough room. So it's it's just very interesting because then when you go back to the the Division One softball, you there's a little bit more length to how, just that little bit more that you're seeing the ball, right? Right. But it also allows for the ball to move. Nice catch and by the Shaka makes Good the job. grab. It looked like she might be a little handcuffed, but uh, switched <laughs> the hands right. easily there. Made it look easy. Good she grab. Did. What grace. Oh, and there was the cheer move. I like it. Our catcher. Here's a look at that replay as it comes uh, nice right shot. out of just, yep. man, nice, nice hands. Bulldogs coming out. up swinging here yep. in the sixth. But, uh, yeah, you're you're definitely, the, the two feet can make a so big difference. And then what happens is, is you, you've got college pitchers that have more room to throw junk. Ah. Uh, does that make sense? Yes. So you've got more room for movement on the ball. So that that 24 inches can be a big yeah. difference. Especially That's with the trouble lift on. Oh. coming on. Nice catch. Castaneda making it look yes. easy. And boy, they're flashing the leather here they are. as it's three up, three down, headed to the bottom of the sixth. Trinity Valley leading 8 4 over the Bulldogs on the Cardinal Sports Network. Would you look at that? It's beautiful. Wow. That's our boy. So Get two breakfast sandwiches like a sausage McMuffin with egg or a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit for just $5. Welcome to Trinity Valley Community College, home of the mighty Cardinals, offering hands-on education with an average teacher to student ratio of one to 20 at a third of the price of regional institutions. We teach, we strive, we succeed. TVCC. It makes sense. Apply today at tvcc.edu. And the Cardinals will send out into the circle number seven, Michaela Marujo. She is a Sophomore out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Nice. And uh, they are trying to hold on to this four-run lead. Now, it's starting to get a few clouds, but not expecting any rain tonight. So just uh, watching this Cardinal team flex a little bit. Behind the plate now, you... I don't have her on the roster. I don't know, but 27. It's, really, it's been a perfect day for a ball game. It has been. A lot of people coming out and enjoying this one. In fact, we were uh, looking over on the third base side. They've run out of 
seats in the stands, so people behind it at the other field have turned around and they're watching it and enjoying it. Where's the food truck? Why is there not a food truck? Ah, uh, that's a good question. Let's <laughs> let's find that food. So I coming coming to the I plate. Need taco Perez, right? <laughs> that's a good choice. Here's the pitch. A nice pitch. And it doesn't. Uh, doesn't help when you look and you see all these great sponsors on the Cardinal right. Sports Network, all the football, Kevin Lilly McDonald's, I just saw them. And goodness, so uh, was Dickie's Barbecue a while ago. Schlotzky's. Oh, they're great. Good. So here is that one missing, making it evened I up. One apiece. Dickie's Barbecue last week because I couldn't get here for both games. You missed out. I'm telling, I know. I'm telling you. One ball and one strike. I looked at their menu and I ordered up. I just couldn't. Popped couldn't up into left. Time. Over making the grab. So. Uh, left Hillier, uh, Tate and Alexander for the catch. Yeah, Alexander will retire Abby Hollingsworth. So Abby goes F7 in the book. I think we got Jaden Burnham in the play. Jane. Yeah, she's she's had a uh, she's been a lot of fun to watch here for this Cardinal softball squad here. Now where is Buda, Texas? Okay, if you're going I-35 down south, it's I don't know if it's yeah, I know it's uh, would be I guess north of Austin. Okay. So I don't remember how it may be closer to Waco, but it's between Waco and Austin. It would be interesting to know how many of these young ladies know each other from even like conference, high school yeah. conference. Yeah, how many of these guys have played each other, maybe even on travel teams exactly. and that kind of thing, or have been teammates before they were teammates. Same with the opposition, right. like you talked about. Some of your, your uh, probably opposition you played some ball with along the line. So it's a, it's a small world in the so, softball circle. It is. That's it. There's a lot of respect for other athletes. I've always been a respecter of athletes and athleticism. Like, even if the play's made against me, and it's good. It's, and you cheer it on because it's a... Yeah, it took, took a great deal of skill. It does. That'll be us outside. So Burnham looking at a one and one count as Hahn is on to pitch in relief of Jackson here in the sixth. 8 4, Trinity Valley leading here. They won the first game 9 1. A little dribbler down the third base line. <laughs> a little trip by the third baseman. <laughs> That'll happen. I got my. Your big foot. smile on her face, too. Yeah, big smile. I got my foot stuck in a sprinkler one time, my cleat. Oh, boy. And it took me down. I feel like there's a story. <laughs> there's a story about Las Vegas. <laughs> Nothing like so the old cleat stuck in the sprinkler. But I caught the ball. I was going to say, we got the out. I got the out. One and two, Thank missing goodness. high up tight as uh, Han taps the chest there. My bad, my bad. Catcher says, yeah, I didn't bring the stepladder for that one. Right. She's got a little inconsistency out there. You'll notice her, her twist. Just, just kind of watch her delivery. Sometimes if you're overthrowing or, or just trying to maybe do too much, that's that can happen. Here she comes with a pitch. That's fouled out of play. She's got some nice movement on that pitch. Oh, she's, it is it is hard. I'm gonna tell you it is difficult up here to to see what they're throwing um, because we have, we have. I don't know why that catcher and that umpire are in our way. <laughs> You'd think that they'd be a little more cooperative. I don't, I don't know here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. My view. Sorry. Can you, excuse me. Excuse me. Can you move a two and two as uh, you've got Burnham at the plate. She grounded out to uh, the first somewhere. baseman who retired her by throwing it to the second baseman in the, who was covering first is what I'm trying to say. But then had that nice hit in the fifth, looking at a 3-2 count here. So it's interesting about how the pitcher's throwing right now. Even the inconsistency actually throws the hitters up as well. Does that make sense? And so she's a little in, unpredictable because she's bringing some height. It's hard to sit on a on a pitch, yeah. on a part of the plate when that's right. happening. It is. I think it's what I'm following. Yeah, but following. she's got some 
you know, there's, yeah, there's the nice, that was a nice rip into left center. Very nice hit. Nice stroke by number 32. Yeah, Jada Elise. So Burnham on with the single. And Chaka will come to the plate here. Destiny has uh, lined down in the second. <laughs> what is that? I thought I had found myself on the Survivor set for a second there. I do like her. Orca whale for a second. <laughs> do like her walk up, man. What's new language we got going here. Flied out to the first baseman and then uh, had the double in the fifth. So we'll see what Destiny does here. They barely got her on that one uh, infield or ground out yeah. back in the second. So one and a O as she watches that one go flying by. Oh, I think we're just picking up a lot more noise, right? I think so. I think the crowds are getting a little louder. That's fun. It's a nice shot. And there for strike, there for strike. one. So <laughs> Han trying to find her way through, and it's it's not an easy task here. Is this lineup? You you said it in game one. There's not a there are an many inning off. Well, yep. That's right. There we go. Right up the, the middle. middle. Oh, got Chuck fired. Out. That's because that ball was so hard hit. Yeah, it, <laughs> it took really a. Is. It looked like that could be two, but took a little weird hop yep. too, right it as did. it got to her, and so moving up 60 feet. Now batting left field number 13, Crystal Ann. That bounce definitely went to her. I think it Advantage when it, it as it was going past the pitcher, it kind of took that first hop and then the second one a little short hop. So tough play there. Castaneda at the plate, two runners on, one out. Runner at second base in scoring position. Trinity Valley trying to add to an 8-4 lead here. We're in the bottom of the sixth. Nice. Throw Ooh. down to first. Not in time. Well, uh, second. second wasn't quite alive on that one. She could have maybe taken, but that's all good. Menchaca at first. Burnham in scoring position with a 1-1 one, one count to Castaneda. Down on the lower part of the strike zone. Yeah. One and two. Castaneda at the plate here trying to make something happen here for the Cards. It's been all Trinity Valley since about the oh. bottom of the third. Oh. Throw down to second, not in time. So two and two the count. As Castaneda has been on all three times today here in game two, had the single in the second, and on the third, and now uh, scored in the fifth. That's a coach's dream. Sky's on to right field, gonna tag? No, not gonna tag. So Burnham will go back to second. Menchaca at first. Here comes Fields to the play. Eliza stepping up. So, two outs. First and second. Swing and fouling that one out of play. Again, these girls are not afraid to swing the bat. Yeah, they're they're definitely up there hacking away. I think. Yes. That is our fault. Oh, and one the count here with fields. Oh, threatening to bump, pulled it back. That one was out in short. Uh, just try to pull the bump back. Yeah. As she just says, nah, I can't get, get a better. Trying to get on that infield, see what they, they could do. And we know she can run. So here's the here's the 1-1. One, one. Got that left foot way out she there. She does. 
See if they go to the opposite side of the park. There it goes, laying down a perfect bunt. Oh, my word. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's how you do it right wow, there. Wow, that was textbook. That was beautiful. That was... Nice a, job, young lady. Eliza Fields put it in a spot that no one was going to get to it before she was at first base. So here comes Weinert to the plate. I think she beat that throw by two two steps. Yeah, that was she was jetting down the runway there. And that bunts off the right right hand side. She's a right hand hitter. So she coming, doesn't have that extra step like the other girls do. So you mentioned that Fields came on to run last time for Glaze and executing there as she started out in the ball game, then now uh, back on. Mm -hmm for Glaze and coming through, aces there. First pitch missing upstairs. That had a little oomph to it. It did. Just get a little fire on that, that pitch. Here is the next pitch from Hahn. Weinert fouls that one out. That one seemed a little more off speed. Navarro trying to uh, Stop this onslaught from Cardinals. They were up four nothing. Now un eight unanswered runs between the third and fifth. Oh, oh. bouncer to second. Off. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Beat it out. That'll score not only and one. And another one. There we go. But that's two runs. That's right. And that's hustling all the way. Rounding third was Menchaca, and she gets in behind Burnham. So TVCC just on a roll. Yep, they're on a roll. And again, that's running on the, on the, you got two outs, you are running hard. That's a big play there. And that's a big bobble there at second. It is. You get out of the inning there with no run score. Instead, now two runs come across and it is 10-4 Trinity Valley. Outside corner for strike one. As DeBose is back up here in the sixth. Top of the line. How many how many times has this kid been up to bat today? She has definitely had her share, hasn't she? That's Come on, trouble. that's in. That's in. That's Another dropping ride. in. And here comes the runner. Oh, we got no play. Throw to third. Third Not base. We're safe there. Everybody's safe all the way around. Yeah, the throw is. Uh, Apply the tags applied, but catching her on the back. I mean, she was easily in there. So taking the extra base is Debose, and she will now represent. Hey, a base hit here, and this thing is it's over. over. That's what I was just looking at the scoreboard. One base hit, and Wittrum has had the game today, man. She's three for four on the afternoon. Let's see what she does here. With that little catcher's doing a good job back there. Yeah, she's had to work a little bit hard this afternoon. Card's trying to end it with a base hit here. They're up seven. Here's the one up. Nope. That missing. Sitting outside. Addison's being patient at the plate. She's got nothing to prove. On deck is Kiara Weidenhoff, and you see Weidenhoff is still geared up. <laughs> Never know, might have to go back out and catch. Two outs, got the shin guards on. Wasn't that Addison that sent that ball to uh, right center for the triple? Was that the last time out? Yeah, I think yeah. you are right. She had that triple back in the fifth. And she had a single in the third, had a... Uh, well, had a base on balls in the first. Going back in the first ball game, she was very productive as well. And there is a ball outside. Three and one. Three and one. Hitter's pitch. So not much that uh, Jenny Hahn can do here. She's going to have to find that strike zone. She does have first base open. See how she attacks here. On in relief of Jackson. There it is. That's There's a base, the base hit. hit for the win. And that's the ball that's game. The ball game folks. How about it? <laughs> Addie Wittrum coming through again and scoring from third is Castaneda. 
The Cardinals will go to 6-0 in conference play. And how about this uh, bounce back? They were down 4 nothing, but uh, never underestimate the heart of a finisher. Oh, my word, no. And they just, they bore down, they knuckled down, and they went after it and run after it. You can see, if you look at the scoreboard, there it is. It's it's showing they just pecked away at it, and they didn't give up. 12, consistency, consistency. 12-4 the final. Thank you for joining us this afternoon here for Region 14 South Action as the Cardinals improved to 6-0 and for the entire Cardinals Sports Network. And for Stephanie Ferris, I'm Tim Howard. Thank you so much for joining us, and good night. And we'll look forward to seeing you soon on the Cardinal Sports Network.